So hello guys, another test. I have vertical versus type pole. I have here in front the 20 meter type pole. Goes here and the, on the top there is the one to one transformer. Here's one leg, ends here, here's the spool and the rest is a, a rope, small string. Second side, another side the same. We have minus seven degree here, quite cold. I'm a little bit sick, sorry about my voice. So here's the second spool. It's nearly perfect matched. Here I'm a little bit touching the on, on this one wire the tree, what is normally not good. But yeah, I can't make it different, fortunately. SWR is good, 1.2. Here we have this uh, vertical. Uh, yeah, the counterpoise elevated a little bit in the yeah, half a meter, 70 centimeter, half a meter. And yeah, just the vertical. Uh, you. The targeted station is in this direction, where the counterpoise is pointing, and the counterpoise is perpendicular to the legs of the dipole. So the dipole goes like this, this is 90 degree. So I will continue later because now conditions are quite bad, but I let this set up and make a break. I have 1.16 at 14 megahertz, I'm here I'm 14080, so I have 1.2 SWR. With the type ball, and this is not a vertical. I have one point three eight. It's a little bit too low. One second, I will adjust it. So now we have the same SWR here one point two six for the vertical. Perfect, it would be at thirty nine twenty. So I'm finished with the test. Uh, I already can see there is, uh, I think the vertical will transmit better, and the dipole is receiving much better. What I see. Also, I have very often plus values for the dipole for receiving the vertical always in the minus. So this is very interesting. Also, I would say vertical better for transmit, but dipole better for receiving. We will see what the Excel sheet is saying. So here is the results. Uh, Barry White is making the analysis. We have an elevated vertical, 70 cm with one counterpoise, also 70 cm high over the ground, compared with the dipole inverted V. Uh, this is uh, on the pole mounted 4.5 to 5 meter up in the middle. There is a one-to-one -one, uh, voltage balloon, the transformer in the center. This is the best setup, in my opinion, with the, with the voltage balloon. Uh, 20 meter we used, GS8 core. There is one choke, current choke at the transceiver side. The targeted station is 2000 km away, approximately. And here are the results. So, so I rejected already uh, the uh, measurements where I got nothing back. I always uh, using pairs. So for example, here I have vertical. I got something back, then I turn a switch to the dipole. I got nothing back. Then again, vertical, I got something, dipole, nothing. So these four, for example, I rejected. I not use these measurements because I need always a pair. And here I used a uh, no switch. So in the beginning, also these ma first measurements were made with the switch, with a antenna switch. And then I uh, change to directly plug, uh, so connect the cables without switch, so that the ground uh, of both coax cables are not uh, connected to each other, so that the, both antennas are completely separated. 
and to see if there is a big difference or not. So the results are here. And we have, uh, for this is with the switch, the first, the first measurements. Uh, average receiving SNR was minus 3.63 with the vertical. And uh, minus 9.5 transmission, uh, transmitting SNR, this is what the targeted station gave me back. Uh, so replied to me. 9.5 dp minus 9.5 dp and with the by dipole a big difference in the receiving so we have plus 1.38 dp snr compared to minus 3.6 with the vertical but there is the, the so for the transmission uh we have minus 10.25 so a little bit worse than the vertical uh, then here you see the numbers for with uh, when I used no switch and it's yeah very similar here's a little bit change, uh, difference as we have here average minus 3.8 minus 8.6 then my uh, 1 and minus 9.2 so I think in the future also for the next measurements here I will use the, the switch it's easier there's not so much change if I use a switch or no switch. So the average from both, also with switch and without switch, is uh, this is this, this is more or less the end re final result. Uh, we have a, a receiving SNR minus 3.71 compared to plus 1.19 for the dipole and minus 9.05 vertical compared to minus 9.73 with the dipole. So the dipole was 4.9 dB better in receive. This is the difference between as a plus 1.19 and minus 3.71. And the vertical is 0 0.67 dB better in transmit. This is the difference from nine, as a minus 9.73 and minus 9.05. So the big, uh, very, uh, minus 4.9 dB better in something, I think, uh, I'm not sure if I got uh, in all the tests, so this is a big difference, very strange. Also, I mean, I know everyone says the dipole is, uh, the, it has much less noise than the vertical, but this is really impressive, I have to say. Not sure, also the vertical still the better antenna for if you want to put your signal uh, out, so this seems like this is still the best, but for receiving the dipole, this is impressive. Very impressive. What I uh, try to find next is, also on my to-do list is, I mean, all these tests, what I'm doing is for me to find the best, to get the feeling and find the best uh, solution for the field, what I can uh, which antenna I should use for which distance because it's always different and uh, also with the most also with the with very less stuff what I have to take so I, at the moment I have my spool uh, my two cables I can build with this an end fit I can make a dipole with this what I need to figure out next is how I can make a vertical with this with one counterpoise so I can do quite a lot of uh, different antennas with this setup. So I have one pole and two 11 meter long uh, spools, so cables in the spool. And in this spool is also 6 meter rope, very thin rope. So with this I can do quite a lot. And this is what I try to figure out the best. So I mean I don't want to carry so much stuff with me. It's just for fun. I mean, this is MCOM. I will call it MCOM. That you, if, if, I think in the emergency we will all run away. Uh, but yeah, it's just fun more. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. This was quite uh, surprising results. Also, I expected the typo will be better trans in transceive, but not 4.9 dp. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. 
see you in the next video wish you all the best with your antenna tests and thanks for watching